But what is it, though? To be successful. Uh-uh. That's an emotion. Correct. That's an emotion. Specifically. So my dream is to have my own television network, my own um, football teams, my own sports teams, to have a family, to live a certain way, to have properties all over the world. So you can say dreams change. Your dreams change. Of course they do. Okay, so let's pause right there. It's too general. If you want to accomplish something in life, it's got to be specific. And I'm curious because these guys made it to the NBA. They made it to the league. They're part of an elite group that ever got to play the game of professional basketball in the NBA in their life after the NBA. They're unclear. Have you heard the saying, success leaves clues? Well, in this episode, I'm going to dive deep into a conversation between Steven Jackson and Matt Barnes on their podcast called All the Smoke with Dame Dash. In this episode, I'm going to study these conversations, these successful gentlemen have been having in their careers, the ups, the downs, the successes, the failures, the things that worked well, the things that didn't work well. We're going to dive deep into this conversation. So let's take a look at this. You know, that's one thing that he does. He dreams. Right. Big. And most people don't dream. So let me ask you a question, both of you. What's your dream? I'm living it. Okay, let me ask you this question. The first conversation you should have to have is with yourself. Why? What's that? What's the big deal about becoming a millionaire? What's the big deal about becoming financially free? What's the big deal about you doing what you're doing? Why are you starting this business? Why are you investing everything you got? Charge up your credit cards, spend it on your 401k, whatever the case may be, whatever your world is, why are you investing it right now into what you're doing? Or the opposite. You have a dream, but you're unwilling to invest in it. What is your dream? Are you clear about what you want? It's interesting how Damon Dash just asked this guy, Steven Jackson, what his dream is. He's talking about, I'm living it. Body language wise, I ain't buying it. But what is it though? To be successful. Uh That's an emotion. Correct, that's an emotion. Specifically. So my dream is to have my own television network, my own um, football teams, my own sports teams, to have a family to live a certain way, to have properties all over the world. So you can say dreams change, your dreams change. Of course they do. Okay, so let's pause right there. It's too general. If you want to accomplish something in life, it's got to be specific. And I'm curious because these guys made it to the NBA. They made it to the league. They're part of an elite group that ever got to play the game of professional basketball in the NBA in their life after the NBA. They're unclear. And it's much like everybody else that's in a transition. You're transitioning from a job. You're transitioning from the military. You're transitioning from one career to another career that you never thought you'd do. You get involved in a business. You never thought you'd get involved in a business because you found opportunity. And, and yet still, you're unclear. You're still unable to be specific with your goals, your dreams, what success is defined as. Look at Dame Dash, though. He answers the same question. He can articulate. He has a little bit more specifics. Let's take a look. Yeah. I mean, I, my, when your dreams, the death of a dream is the best funeral. That means it became a reality. Mm-hmm. And then it's time to have another one. See, oftentimes people have a goal and they hit it, they accomplish it. The sad part about you accomplishing and having goals is you set your goals and dreams so low, you actually hit it and you're really uninspired. You set it too low because it's safe. You set it too low because, oh, I think I can get it. It's with inside my grasp. It's with inside my reach. But the reality of you reaching your goals, the next best version of yourself, the Live the aspirations of your life, things that get you fired up. Your goals have to be beyond your reach. So you've made your dreams come true, but what's your dreams right now? My dreams right now is to be an actor. That's my dream. Still vague. You're dreaming to be an actor? Yep. You can be an actor. You got to dream bigger. <laughs> By the way, how many of you actually need a friend like Dame Dash? How many of you need a friend like him? Check this out. In the book of Proverbs, in the Bible, it says... The wisdom of the prudent is to give thought to their ways, but the folly of fools is deception. So in other words, Dame Dash is actually asking him to think about what you're doing, your ways, what you've done, what you're doing, what you're about to do. Actually, Dame Dash is actually living out and asking a biblical truth, but pushing him to the next level, to have him grow to the next level. All the Otherwise, he'll just have what he has. And Stephen Jackson's going to be saying, I'm living my dream, not inspired, acting it, it's just a knee-jerk reaction. It's just a knee-jerk response. Boom. Who knows? It might be his personality, but he's not inspiring anybody else around him. Maybe he's inspiring himself, but nobody around him is fired up to be around this guy. Who knows? Mm. Give me a bigger dream. Bro. You're a professional. Dream, I did not be making up something that I'm not in that space. I want you to dream. I, yeah. I'm going to ask you this question when you come on to my studio. Yeah. 
Okay. But you have to dream big. By the way, when you come up to my studio, Dame Dash is literally like opening up a door for him right now. Step up, brother. This is what he's saying. Step up. Get clear. Get clear about what you want. I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to push you. And when you come into my studio, you better have a game. You better have a game just like you did in a game of professional basketball. You need to do this now in the next phase of your life. Like, for example, we live by a mantra here that once you do something, how you do one thing is how you do everything. Whether you give it your all, next thing you do, you give it your all. The next thing you do, you give it your all. Have that consistency in your life. Enough so that you're not the only one that's affected. You have to be selfish about it, though. You can't help nobody unless you can help yourself. I love that. I see so many people say, I want to help other people. I want to help other people. I want to help other people. But yet, they haven't helped the most important person themselves. They want to love on other people, but they haven't loved themselves. I want to help financially other people, but they financially haven't helped themselves. For a minute, for a moment, you got to work on you. Dame Dash, 100% agree with what he says right here. For a moment, you have to be selfish. Take care of you first. And the people that you want to help are the people you love, your family. See, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. But what, what, if you're in, what if you're in a position where, like See, I'm saying, when you ask me that question, I'm looking at like, well, shit, I'm living my dream because I've done what I set out to do to change lives. You did it already. It's dead. Right. That's that it. Over. What's next? Right. Next dream. Right. Yes. Mm. What's next? Either you're growing or you're dying. Even if you think you're staying the same, you're actually dying. You got to have a next. You got to have a next. You got to have a next. Otherwise, you walk around life uninspired. It died already. Because you've accomplished it. Right. It's an angel. It's in the wind. You don't want to be the guy talking about, like, some people's dream in high school was to, like, win the chip. And, then and they, they still talk about that shit to the day. <laughs> Why is Dame Dash it's dressed like day. an accountant, man? Come. Well, I remember 95. <laughs> so, now, my approach man. on this dream would be, number one, to be the best actor in the world, not to just be an actor. But you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cameras right there. You have sound in a location. What's stopping you from acting? Boom. Calling them out. You got Somebody access. You got resources. Okay. Nope. So Look at what's in your hand. To making that dream come true today. I'm just asking. He said, based on your desire to act, based on how you come through with that and how specific you are with that, Dave Dash is the type of guy that can put you on. You got an opportunity. You're in front of people. Don't take these type of opportunities and conversations and relationships for granted. He's lighting up a blunt. <laughs> I just know. I just wanted to answer that question. What's to what question? What's stopping me? If you have one, two, three, four, five, six cameras right. and mics right. and a location, mm -hmm. what's stopping you from acting? I know it's more than just me acting to it. Right. There's six what's cameras. What's stopping you? Writers. Great all questions. Kind of stuff. What's stopping mm -hmm. you? You don't need writers to act. Uh-uh. He's calling out his BS. I, mostly everything I've ever done, I don't He's even... He's calling out his BS. You can I do this right do now. I honor up with a script. So you're making reasons not to do it. No, I wouldn't. See, oftentimes people, instead of creating reasons to do it, they come up with excuses. What do you want to do? You want to become a first generation cash flow millionaire? Then find the reasons. Otherwise, if you don't, you're going to find the excuses. You want me to show you how simple it is? Gosh. You want how simple it is? Watch. What's he doing? <laughs> They're laughing at him. I need you to have an argument with him. Oh. Don't mean it. He's creating a scene. Girl. He's creating a scene. Action. He's creating a scene. Why the fuck you didn't tell me you called her? <laughs> I she told me you called her. You told me you was cool. You weren't going to fuck with her. You, I told you I like her. I told you I was taking her out. And you still called her? I thought we was better than that. She do that little thing to me. You know I... Well, you should have told me that. Steven can act. I don't know about Matt I told, Barnes. I, I, I told you Matt you Barnes still called. try to get in character. I really try to be with her. And you still called her. Coach Steven, that's it. Like what? That's it. That's type of you is? Come on. We have our first scene. We <laughs> the TV show. Let's see, Dame Dash is elevating his game. Listen, listen, what type of friends are you around? What associations are you around? In my opinion, there's three visions. I read this in a book called The Body for Life. Three type of visions you can have. You can have a past vision. All you do is talk about all the greatest years that were behind you. You can have a present vision, the greatest years that you're in it right now, but you lack vision of what's going on the next day, the next day, the next, like this guy. Or you can have a future vision. You embrace what's going on today as a gift, as a present, but you embrace and be inspired about your next goals, about your next vision, about your next moves, your next uh, 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 level of 
you're going to reach. Whatever that is, that's called having a future vision. What vision do you have today? Because you can say, hey, listen, man, I'm broke. I've got a bad credit score. I just went through a divorce. I just gone through this pandemic, lockdowns, et cetera, et cetera. But do you have a future vision? And more importantly, do you surround yourself with people like this? Boy, you just, now your dream just came true. Next dream. You just acted. That simple. That simple. It's not complicated. That's the low level of acting. Oh, okay. No, you that's, did a good now, job, that, now, 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 that was fucked up that you did that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so now, once he did it, Steven Jackson is actually doubting himself again. He's doubting himself. And then Dame Dash says, hey, listen, bro. He's calling him out again. How many times does he got to call him yeah, on his low know. standards and low why expectations of his life? Because, because, no, no. Because I, I Let see me do, do I me a be. favor. Listen, in my perspective, give me the best case scenario of what you just did. The best case scenario? Yeah, and only think about that. That what I just did is in the movie theater? Sure. See, future vision. See, Dame Dash is locking him in to a future vision. Not the past vision, not the present vision, the future vision. That, bro. None of those, that's the last thing you think about is the worst thing, bro. The first thing you think about is the best thing. See? And then, I'll, I'll, so your visualization just now was it won't be successful. That's what you just visualized. See, oftentimes people say, man, I want to be financially free. I want to be financially independent. I want to start a business. Most people will think about their failure. Most people say, I don't have the skill. Most people say, I don't have a college degree. Most people say, I don't have the right people around me. I don't have the resources. See, that's most people. But if you want to be significant, you want to be different, and everybody you are raised with, you have to be different in expectation of yourself. You got to see the best outcome of that decision. You just f your dream up. <laughs> now, if you're only visualizing this shit in a movie, when I said, you just said it's in a movie, then that's what you should have seen. Correct. And then you make it happen. Now, question, how the f could that be in a movie? Well, I could just shoot 60 more minutes of scenes. Yep. And now I could go rent a theater and show it. How could it be beneficial? Dame, that's well, great. I just showcased that I can vision. act. And it could be good. Actually, in my dream, it is so good that now it's a hit oh, wait. out of left field. What Steven Jackson is doing is buying himself actually into a limiting belief. A limiting belief. What Dame Dash is attempting to do is stretch his vision into a belief that can become. Which vision do you want to buy into? Something that, oh, I'm doubts. I got doubts. I'm not sure if I can do it. I don't have the skills. I don't have the right uh, team behind me. I don't have the right script. I don't have the right, uh, 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 financing behind me. Or buy into Dame Dash's vision and say, listen, hey, this can get done. You need to do this. You need to do that. Here's a future vision, what you can do, what you can accomplish. You visualizing that? I'm visualizing. Now, why it can't happen? Because a lot of things got to go. Of course. Back back to doubting himself. Instead of saying, well, I got a lot of things got to happen. Well, start writing it out. Start writing out the things that need to happen. For example, I want to become a millionaire. Great. What I need to do? I need to make money outside of my current job or current business. Great. I need to increase my cash flow. Great. I need to increase my credit score. Great. I need to access credit lines. Great. I need to access new relationships. Great. Boom, boom. Start writing those things down. This thing to get you closer to where you want to go versus saying, I got doubts. I got, I don't know. Because Steven Jackson's mind is saying, I can't afford it. Were you raised in that language? You were raised in what we call broken ease? Or are you buying into what we call wealth and ease, million ease, okay? Where somebody say, hey, you can't have this, you can't have this. Oftentimes we're programmed to think of things we can't do versus being around people that can program what you can do or what can become. That's the guy that Dame Dash, she's putting people on. Your realism is the worst? That's no, not realistic. No. I that understand things about, don't always what go if your some, way. Okay, now, what if, let me think is about that. Is that not this. true? You're wrong. It always goes the right way. It always goes the right it's way. Challenging his life. Look, look at his, look at his physiology. If you're He's playing in the NBA eyes. and you lose the game, you still won because you're in the NBA. Now, what if some? That's now, the think about this. Part. Some kid. That's the crazy part. This whole thing. Stephen Jackson, you made it into the NBA, and the same confidence that you brought to play to suit up night in, night out to play in the NBA, did you forget to bring that into the rest of your life? That's what he's reminding you. You say to him, what do you want to do? What's your dream? I want to be a basketball player. He goes, well, shit, I can't be a basketball player. I got to have this and that. He'd be like, get the fuck out of here. All you got to do is be good. Mm. Like, right? Yep. You have to, the way you attack your dream is the way you have to attack the dreams that make you uncomfortable just because you don't know how to do it. Yep. Mm. You knew you was going to be a basketball on, player because you know your skills. 
You're not confident in your skills, but you got to be confident in your skills. Yes. Just now what I saw is you do have enough confidence to be an actor. You're sure. You showed it. And why wouldn't you turn this into a scripted show as well as like the... <laughs> this is why you got to be careful about who you share your dream with. You got to be careful of who you share your thoughts, your, co your confidence with. Like, for example, somebody presented you an opportunity and yet you take that conversation and share with somebody that's broke, you share with somebody that's not aspiring to be anything. What they're going to do is kill your dream because they're going to double down on what you already think bad about yourself. But if you take that same dream and you present it to somebody, you pitch it to somebody who's already accomplishing something, who's living a life that you want to live, they say, hey, man, go for it, man. Get it done. I'll see you at the top. Let's make it happen. Which conversation do you want to have for the rest of your life? So as I wrap up, I want to share with you another problem we covered in last week's episode of the Wealth and Wisdom series. It goes like this. All hard work brings a profit, but mere talk leads only to poverty. So I'm glad that Dame Dash had inspired Stephen Jackson to see a bigger light of himself, to see a next best version of himself. He cast a vision for what this guy's potential future superstar acting career is about to become. Now, what does Stephen Jackson have to do? It's got to get to work. It's got to take action on these words. Going into 2022, think about the conversation you're having with yourself, the goals and aspirations that you actually want in your life. And you actually have the plan of action and the action action to get you to where you're going to go. And last but not least, the people to surround yourself with that will push you to the next level of your life. If so, then this year, 2022, can be and will be the beginning of the best years of your financial life. Please let me know your thoughts, your questions, your comments, your feedback, you agree, you don't agree. What did you see from this interaction between Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson and Dame Dash? What was your takeaways? What was your feedback? Please put it in the comment section below. Before I let you go, please check out these other videos right here to help you think like a millionaire, to strategize like a millionaire, so therefore you can become a first generation cash flow millionaire. From Dallas, Texas, I'm your Mighty Smart Guy, and until we meet again, continue to live smart, Continue to love smart and be money smart today.